Hundreds of aviation enthusiasts gathered in Christchurch today to mark 50 years since the disappearance of a dragonfly plane in the Lower South Island. The plane, with five people on board, disappeared on a scenic flight between Christchurch and Milford. Searchers never found the wreckage, but as Jessica Rowe reports, they haven't given up. Touching down at West Mountain Aerodrome, joy rides in this vintage tiger moth were a major attraction today for those marking 50 years since the disappearance of the Dragonfly ZK AFB. It's one of the most searched for aircraft in New Zealand's history. So 50 years to the day since the Dragonfly with five people took off, you know, vanished. So I just felt we needed to do something. And maybe this is another part of the jigsaw that will solve the mystery, who knows. Pilot Brian Chadwick and four passengers, including a couple on their honeymoon, disappeared. Since then, five other aircraft have gone missing in what aviation historian Richard Waugh calls New Zealand's Bermuda Triangle. Gavin Grimmer has been searching for the Dragonfly for five years. Well, it was, it's about time it was found, you know. I mean, there were people on board, um, lots of distressed families. The brothers of missing passenger Lewis Rowan came today to show their support. But it's very important to mark the occasion, to also to support the groups that are still searching for the plane, to really support them and encourage them. Event organisers say there's been an overwhelming turnout today with around 500 aviation enthusiasts here to admire the 25 aircraft on display. Organisers hope events like this will encourage further searches for all six aircraft missing in the area and the mystery of New Zealand's Bermuda Triangle will be solved at last. Jessica Rowe, 3 News.